We love monster stories. Vampires lurking in shadow, zombies clawing at doors, werewolves howling under a full moon. But what if these monsters aren't just fantasy? What if nature created the originals? Creatures so strange, so terrifying, that we turned them into legends. Today on Brain Buzz, we're digging up the real roots of our darkest myths and meeting the living monsters hiding in plain sight. Which parts of the legends were real and which were our fears talking? Vampires, not the glittery movie poster kind. In the forests of Central and South America lives the real thing, the vampire bat. This tiny mammal drinks blood from sleeping animals. But here's the twist. After a meal, some bats return to their roost and share. They'll pass blood to hungry roost mates who didn't get enough to eat. It sounds gross, but it's all about survival. Bats that share today are more likely to get help when they need it later. It's social credit in liquid form. However, there's a catch. Bats keep track of who helped them and who didn't. Freeloaders, those who take but never give, get cut off. So maybe vampire legends aren't just about fear of bloodsuckers. Maybe they're warnings about trust, survival, and the thin line between generosity and selfishness. Zombies. Picture this. Deep in the jungle, an ant suddenly stops, veers off its trail, and climbs a nearby plant. It grabs the leaf with its jaws and waits. Something is terribly off. The ant is being controlled. A fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis has taken over. This fungus infects the ant's body, rewiring movement and turning it into a puppet. When the fungus is ready, it kills the ant and sprouts a stalk straight through its head. Scientists discovered something even creepier. The fungus doesn't invade the brain. It puppeteers the muscles directly, like a biological marionette. So the next time you watch a zombie movie, remember, nature wrote the script first, and its version is way scarier. Werewolves, humans transforming under the full moon. It terrified Europe for centuries. But there's a real world root to the legend. Hypertrichosis, a rare condition that causes thick hair to grow all over the body, even the face. In medieval times, people with this condition were branded as cursed, beastly, or supernatural. They became sideshow attractions, living myths. It didn't take much, a full moon, a touch of superstition, and fear of the unknown. Suddenly, you've got the werewolf legend. But the real monster wasn't the person. It was society's fear and cruelty toward anyone who looked different. Imagine you're diving deep in the ocean when everything goes dark. Your oxygen is fading. Then, something with red eyes and a cape-like cloak drifts out of the black. It seems to hover between life and death in a place where almost nothing survives. The Vampire Squid, Vampirotuthis infernalis. Literally, the vampire squid from hell. Blood-red body, webbed arms like a cloak and a talent for surviving in oxygen-poor waters where others perish. Just like our mythical monsters, nature's real vampires prove that truth is often stranger and more fascinating than fiction. The ocean conceals humanity's primal dread, the mystery lurking in the depths. Maritime lore speaks of a behemoth capable of dragging entire vessels to their doom. The Kraken, they named it. A writhing mass of appendages emerging from the deep. Scientists relegated these accounts to folklore for hundreds of years, until evidence appeared on shorelines. The 1800s brought startling discoveries. Massive tentacle remnants, fist-sized beaks, and suction cups rimmed with serrated edges. The legend had substance, nearly misinterpreted. Science now identifies it as Architeuthis dux, the colossal squid. Stretching beyond 30 feet, it possesses eyes comparable to plates, 
ideal for navigating the lightless depths. While not a ship destroyer, it remains the ultimate hunter in its shadowy realm. What struck fear into seafarers wasn't some mythical beast, but rather the vast unknown. In waters both infinite and impenetrable, reality itself becomes supernatural. The Kraken represents not fantasy's existence, but rather nature's capacity to exceed our imagination. So next time you hear stories about vampires, zombies, or werewolves, remember, they all started as real biology, warped by myth and fear, because the scariest monsters are the ones that actually exist. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like, subscribe, and drop your favorite real-life monster in the comments. Maybe we'll feature it in a future video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.